Hello everyone. I met Vaibhav Gupta recently. He is an Alteryx designer expert and has cleared Alteryx core certification recently. He has shared some nice tips and tricks which can help you all. And if you do like the video, please click that like button. Thanks a lot. Please enjoy the video. Hey Raghav, I am good and uh, looking to share my experience uh, which I have uh, throughout this Alteryx journey and how I created or done my certification. And I think like uh, every corporate guy who is currently working on Alteryx and or looking to work in Alteryx, they prefer to have some sets of certification over there. Uh, so it, it's, it's a very kind of common thing and even uh, very necessary sometimes to grab a job. So let's move on to that. Very so nice. Maybe so you... why don't we start? What are the different certifications in uh, Alteryx? Um, before saying anything about it, I would like to grab my screen and show you Go ahead. that how or what we do to actually do the certification on what are the different sets of certification available. Starting with like, uh, if you want to know anything about Alteryx certification, you can create uh, your account on Alteryx community. So this is named as community.alteryx.com. So this is the URL where you can go and create your account and log in. So when you log in, you can see though there are a lot of options, like you can participate in different sets of discussions, uh, or you can like uh, introduce yourself. You can find different resources available. If you, you want to create any idea or you want to submit any idea, or you want to give any suggestions to Alteryx. So you can do all those stuffs here. And similarly, like discussions regarding different components of Alteryx and all those things but the major focal right now is certification. So on a similar note, like we have an Alteryx certification available on Alteryx community. And we have basically three types of uh, Alteryx certification. If you see here on my screen, we have Alteryx designer core certification. We have Alteryx designer advanced certification and then the Alteryx designer expert certification. The first two levels of certification is free of cost. And the next level, the expert level, it costs you a dollar one fifty. And uh, first exam is of two hours, and the second one is again of two hours, and the third exam it's of like three hours. So let's uh, not divergent into all those uh, different uh, certifications. Let's focus on today on this Alteryx Designer Core Certification. So when we talk about Alteryx Core uh, Certification, what should I prepare? Like th this is the usual question that comes in everyone's mind. And if I am a new beginner, can I crack the Alteryx Certification? Of course you can. The only thing that you have to do is you have to make sure there are certain sets of defined guidelines. So what by defined guidelines I mean is so when I click on like, uh, right now I am seeing here the certified, but uh, if I have not given that exam, so if I click on like uh, take exam, so it will showcase me different sets of details. What are the different instructions for the, uh, or you can find uh, when you scroll down here on this particular community page, you can come down and you can see. So it will show you different sets of guidelines, what you have to follow. So if you see for Alteryx Designer Core, uh, what skills you need uh, or what tool sets or tool palettes you have to focus on. So it's uh, giving you, you have to work on interface element, basic workflow uh, concepts, browse tools, input tool, output tool, et cetera, et cetera. So it gives you all the list of different tools which you have to learn or work upon in order to crack that. So in total, it has approximately 80 questions and with a two hours of time. So there can be uh, multiple choice questions. There can be subjective questions. Really subjective questions? Yeah, the subjective questions. So it is not like you have to write a paragraph or something. Uh, by subjective questions here, I mean is uh, you will get the data sets in the question itself. You can download those data sets and you have to create workflow in order to get the answer to that question. So this is what I mean by the subjective questions. And uh, if by my experience I share, 
where the subjective questions usually come from input output palette or transformation palette and in some cases like uh, you have to use uh, cross tab transpose aggregation and uh, even sometimes you have to use the date functions so uh, you have to learn to manage how the data evolves or generates through these different sets of tools what are the key configurations because if you do not know like a question related to joining tool what are the different sets of configurations uh, possible there so if you do not know who those configuration you will not be able, uh, able to crack so you have to be very sure uh, or very precise about your learnings although this is an open book test uh, you can like uh, browse through different uh, desktop screens and search for the information so the major intent uh, of making it free and open book by Alteryx is they say that they want individuals to be better at Alteryx. They do not want that uh, they just cram something and come here and crack the exam. Their intention is that people learn. So while you search, while you work, you will be able to learn about the tools which you will be uh, like learning about. So you will be like grabbing the knowledge on them. Uh, you will have practical questions where you can uh, get the data sets and generate the workflow and get the output. So all, all these things will really help you to build your Alteryx skills. So just don't take it like a certification exam. If you want to grow your career in this, you should be like uh, learning these, exploring these and doing a lot of practical use cases. So in Alteryx community, again, you have weekly challenges where you can find different use cases given by them with different data sets. So you solve those challenges, get expertise on those tools and crack the exam and bang on. So I will show you, share my experience. When I initially gave the core certification examination, I failed three times. I will, but what was the problem? I, just, I was just a beginner and I did not practice anything much. I just learned, okay, these are the different tools. I shows, I see, saw the videos on the internet, YouTube, and even the uh, on the Altex community. So all those things were there. I read them and I went for the exam, but I do not know the practical implementation or what challenges I could face while doing that. So that's why I failed. So I left the uh, exam after that, like uh, I gave myself uh, a time of four to six months where I practically worked on the different projects and implemented all those th things. And when I actually gave the exam this time, I finished it. 30 minutes before and uh, I finished it with a 92 percentile. So this is what the difference is. At one time I was not able to crack the exam and at the second time I did it so fast and with a 92 percentile. So that's the difference. So, you're, you, so learning was important so that yes. Right. So you can always study about it but somehow you, if you can have some practical exposure to it you can definitely uh, get through the examination correct and right now i am eagerly uh, spending my time to crack this alteryx advance so as soon as i will clear it i i will give you some kind of insights on that too. no absolutely thanks a lot uh Vibo, on this so what specific time zone i mean if if a person who's already started working on alteryx can give alteryx designer core right now right yes they, they can uh, but they should be very uh, focused and they should be very clear that yes, they, they are confident about those tools. And if any scenarios comes up, uh, they should be able to handle those data sets with those tools. Okay. So uh, what else do you think uh, other than this, they need to follow? Like uh, any schedule you maintain to clear the certification exam, any specific sample data sets you worked on, how how do you approach for this uh, learning? I do, not, I do not say you need to follow any schedule. It's not a school. It's, a, it's just a certification exam. But yes, uh, you should be very uh, focused on learning like uh, practical use cases. Um, um, if you are not working in any project where you are utilizing Alteryx, then my suggestion will be go for the weekly challenges that we have in Alteryx community that will practically enhance your experience and learnings. And at the same time, uh, go through all the videos that are available on YouTube and as well as on the Alteryx community. That will really help because they, they are, have 
a detailed explanation over there like what, what are the different things you have to follow what tools will be coming what is the course criteria everything oh that, great so uh, i would suggest anybody who is watching this video if they want to clear altrix designer core exam and they have certain questions around it please do comment in the comment section below and whatever the questions can be we'll reach out to webber and find out if we can get an answer for you you getting through the exam is something which is uh, important to us and any specific areas you want to learn more and you want to get more knowledge on comment on those items too and we can uh, uh, more information for you and if you like similar content please do hit that like and subscribe button so thanks a lot uh, webof for taking this time and uh, as usual you've been great so uh, anything any last comments before we sign off or i would say those who are looking to get certified just go for it you will uh, learn a lot and hopefully a good uh, uh, so just go for it and anything any questions you have please do uh, uh, reach out to us and we'll be able to help you uh, till next time uh, take care bye 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 thank you thank you